Well, it was a late night, early morning, however you want to think about it. It's now 8.30. We're late. Truck's not loaded up yet, but we'll get it loaded and hopefully hit the road by about 9. So we will be a little bit late, but considering I got in bed at about 5 this morning, got about two hours of sleep, I feel pretty good about it. But it does run. Uh, we had lots of Holly software corruption issues but persevered through all of that. And as I could tell, everything's gonna stay working good. We'll be able to mess with a little bit more down there. I mean, Keen will probably be swapping off every hour because he only got about another hour, maybe an hour and a half more sleep than I did. It's but gonna I, be a long ride. But I've had eight hours of sleep the rest of the week. You've gotten four the rest of the week. Yeah, the good night was four, yeah. <laughs> but, yep. Hey, at least it's snowing outside. It'll be good, so. <laughs> <laughs> let's hear it run. Yeah, let's hear it run. Quick A team, B team, C team tally. Haha, <laughs> pretty tired. Yep, we must be at Sand Hollow. The wind's blowing. We got uh, everybody here. We have quite a few people here, but I'm not going to turn the camera too much or the mic too much because it'll be way too loud. But uh, here we are gonna get this thing unloaded we'll get it parked over where they're gonna do the contestant at. I guess it's gonna be over in this area here somewhere there's Rory's truck and yeah there's a couple others over there so wow it's loud well we had quite a few issues with the truck once we got here we just uh, more or less got it running well I'm gonna move out out of the garage here it's kind of echoey it's kind of bright out here but hey, the wind's not blowing. Well, it's Friday at the off-road games. When we got here, the truck just wasn't running very good. It ran good enough to get on and off the trailer. And so we messed with it a little bit on Thursday. I was trying to record that. I don't know how much of that came through because the wind was blowing so bad. We couldn't really find anything conclusive on what the problem was. We were able to check into our Airbnb after uh, being done. Worked on it some last night, trying to figure out what was going on. I didn't really record any of it because, well, I was just focusing on trying to figure out what was wrong with everything. Turns out we had a broken spark plug. We had a, uh, a software issue on the firing order. Uh, imagine that, doing that at three in the morning. Uh, I got two numbers transposed in the firing order. Took care of the misfire. The trance wasn't shifting. The connector for the transmission had gotten put in 180 out, so it wasn't fully snapped in. Got that taken care of. So I think that's gonna take care of most of that stuff. So we're gonna go drive it now and see what happens. Keep in mind that this thing has, I don't know, half a mile on it tops, if that. So this is really the first uh, test drive that we're gonna do. Hopefully everything works good enough that I can do a pull today. I'm supposed to do it at three o'clock today and it's about, what time is it, like 9.30 now? 9.33. 9.33. I'll hand the camera to Caden. He's my co-pilot and running the laptop as well. Better 
better start. Yeah, it does. Idles right in. Yeah, did you actually believe the 90 PSI old pressure on the gauge a minute ago? It said 90 just a second ago. But... Yeah, it probably is. Oh, Because okay. that would be about right for the way I've got everything set. So we're going to watch that as well. Okay. Because um, I can set the oil pressure in software. Really? Yeah. No. That, it's got a big oil pump, so they use a uh, solenoid to dump the excess pressure. Uh, and it's just okay. duty cycled. So there's a pulse width signal to it. <laughs> and I, there's a map to control that. That's cool. That sounds pretty good, actually. It's got just yeah, a tiny bit of an idle. Huh? It's got just a tiny bit of an idle from the cam. Like yeah. That sounds so good. I love yeah. the way this thing sounds. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I thought it was just going to be obnoxious, but... I thought it was going to be louder than it is. Honest, with a tailpipe where it's pointing out, not down, and echoing on the ground. Yeah, it'll be awesome. I think so. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's good. I'm just amazed that this thing actually fits the garage door here. Too. It's like that much. Yeah, I didn't think this about is that only, when I That's why we place. build things short, because it leaves us options. This door is only 6 foot 10. Yeah. And it fits through it. Yeah, I see the sign there. I saw them. That gives you an idea how short this truck is. Keep in mind it has 42s on it. <laughs> That mile per hour signal. Let's see. We did for. Yeah, it's kind of sporadic, but we do have yeah, a signal. Yeah, we're going pretty slow. Oh, that's good. Let's see. Here we go. Now it's chilling out. It says we're going 10 right now. Yeah, 12. We're probably going a little bit faster than that, but we do have a signal. Yeah, your fuel's kind of lean, I would think. But... Well, it should be bouncing around 14, 7. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I guess we were mostly just cruising. Yeah, when we lean on it some, it should go very good. second but it's in second now there's first it immediately kicks into second as soon as you start going yeah you can kind of hear it shift but i don't know why it won't stay in first It's just learning. It's actually staying in first gear. Well, there's second. Oh, first? So, uh, yeah, it's just shifting in between them. I don't know why. I don't know why either. It shouldn't be. Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that 
that's a pretty uh that's a pretty moderate tune i think it only has like 15 degrees of timing okay well I, i'd say that it'll it'll pull wow Well, I completely lost the mouse, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> what does, uh, I guess we're better be done. We're going to piss off the neighbors. Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably already have. <laughs> um, did you see what the airfield was doing? No, I didn't. The, the mouse flew away and hit something, so it, uh, it popped something up. Okay. Okay. Wow. What yeah, thing is, the blower doesn't make any no, it's not really well, loud. I, just, yeah, I thought it did scream like crazy, but... It, it's definitely quick, though. <laughs> Smoldering the 42s? <laughs> <You're scared. laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably doesn't have any dunkies left on <laughs> No, probably not. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I put the transfer case together somewhat, right? Because it didn't it, it didn't, didn't explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Did you get some camp footage at the camp at the windshield? Oh uh, no, I had it faced this way the whole time. I'd call that a success. The trance is a little bit goofy, but it seems yeah. like it's going to be okay. So I think we've put. I think that was a, probably a mile and a half we just put on it, so... Yeah, looping back and forth a bunch, yeah. Yeah. What is the intake air at? Does it show? Intake air is at 125. Oh, yeah. Good so that's not bad. Three, oil pressure still. Yeah. Perfect. I'm shooting for right around 40. I could probably bump the idle oil pressure up a little bit. Probably bump that idle down. What's the IAC? Uh, is it at zero? Oh, I yeah, at zero out. right there. Oh yeah. And the timing. What's the idle timing? Should be like 22. I think is what I got idle timing. At. Ignition timing. Seven, 15 to 17. Oh wow. Oh, probably because our air temp is a little high. I think it's cutting. That must be set at 20 and then pull in three degrees out because of the intake air. Uh, I do have that pretty aggressive, so yeah. we don't get into detonation. So so yeah, I think if we go put some fuel in it, I think it's good enough to drive. It pulls to the left really hard, I'm not sure. It? I think it's because the steering box isn't centered. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we didn't have a chance to do any of that, so. Yeah, but yeah, I like the idle quality. It's, good. No, it's nice. Yeah, just enough to but you know it's got a it's not stock <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay well i think uh we'll call that a success yeah that's cool well we're back in it and we're actually gonna head to the games now so yep, let's see what happens hopefully uh everything keeps running good yeah. this is really beyond that little test drive this is its maiden voyage so first time it really matters <laughs> yeah we'll finally be able to test out the front locker too maybe maybe yeah Just right, the 
seat box right. Just barely touching the back glass. Yeah, I thought it would actually be laying on it when we set them in there and did all that stuff. But no, it's perfect. It's actually I, think, I think the seats look a lot better with a headrest leaned up a little. Yeah, they do. I'll have to agree with that too. If we get out on this road without dying or killing anybody. Yeah. Might just have to use the suicide lane. Yeah, I know. See how bad the wind's blowing all these sand drifts everywhere. Yep. Yeah, it's way better. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday we all went home with red hair. Oh, red everywhere. We had <laughs> sand and yeah, we had sand everywhere. Yeah. But hey, our face has got nice exfoliation. The insides yeah. of our noses is all it's exfoliated. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Yeah. Our, all, all of our other spots are fairly well exfoliated too. So. Yeah. There was not that many people here yesterday. No, there wasn't because it was just miserable. Yeah, it was. I think people came out here, drove through, turned around, and went back and watched a movie. Or... Yeah, I, I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah. Hopefully they watched YouTube instead of going to the movie theater. Instead of going to the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> He likes to promote himself. I like to promote all the YouTube channels. That's why I said I didn't say watch Chad's Fab. I just don't think they'd watch YouTube more. There's all the guys over there. Gonna do the pool. They're getting the air tires aired down. It's running and it made it, and we're gonna see how it does. Okay, it looks like we had some kind of a mayfly or bug hatch. Holy cow. It's either that or my lice got really out of hand really fast. I'm not sure, but I mean, I'm under a hat and a hoodie for three days. But look at all these people. There's a, there's a lot of people. These are it's amazing. This is it's so amazing. This is part of some of the greatest people in the whole world, and there are viewers. There are people just like you watching this video. 
Thanks. Trying to get everything all ready on this. Did a couple last minute things. We got some air in the airbags, uh, aired the tires down. Uh, gonna pull up the laptop and see where the tune's at after our maiden voyage. Make sure everything, I don't need to make any last minute adjustments. And we'll see what we can do. If I leave drivetrain parts on the sand, then so be it. I just don't want to hurt the motor. But, uh, <laughs> we're gonna go let it all hang out. So. Dusty one rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Yeah. Fair and square. He's, he's in there. I won. Oh, yeah, that's the <laughs> 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 okay. Here we go.
back in place. They're gonna flip you around and pull you back up. Right Good job, Jack! <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> if they knew what was under the hood, they would. <laughs> What's that? What one do you like better? For this, this, this is ideal. For, for something like this, this is hard to beat. Well, I'm gonna call this year's off-road games a extreme success. Matt and Jamie and all your kids, you guys did a fantastic job. And the Matt's off-road recovery team, you guys did knocked it out of the park as well. So, but we had a good time. Big thanks to all the fans and viewers that we, I got to talk to for uh, being there and supporting us all the time. It uh, really means a lot to us. Well, that takes care of it for this one. Till next time, remember, when things get tough, don't give up, don't give in, just give it your all. And maybe call in a few of your friends. Thanks for watching.